Good morning, and welcome to video number 11 of me growing out my beard. Although this will be the only part of the video that you'll see me with a beard, because this entire thing was recorded five months ago when I was in the Marine Corps, and I wasn't allowed to have a beard. Mapex sent me this beautiful set of tenor drums to make a review video, but right after I filmed and edited this whole thing, I got told that I wasn't allowed to film on base ever again in my whole life, as long as I was in the Marine Corps. But I don't go there anymore, so we're posting it now. Mapex tenor drum review five months in the past. I hope you enjoy. Good morning! Today I have a gigantic package. Probably the biggest one I've ever had on this channel. How very exciting. And I'm not even gonna bother making the joke that it's the Zymox replacement tenor rims. Because I know it's not them. And it never will be them. But I am very, very excited to open this, so let's get on with it. Oh yes. Oh, these are so beautiful. And then I have my other slightly less enormous, but still very important package to open. Well, would you look at this? They have a, like a traveling case for the tenor stand. That's pretty epic. I didn't know they did that. Thank you to Mapex for sending me these tenor drums to review. Naturally, I chose the large block size tenors with a 6 and 8 inch Spock drum, because more drums please. The first thing that I really appreciate about these drums is that they come completely assembled in the box. You can literally take them out and play them right away. These pretty much match exactly our desert camis and our woodland camis. And I'm gonna do a very epic drum battle at the end of this video where I battle myself in the two different Marine Corps uniforms. It's very motivational. The stand comes in two pieces, so that actually took longer to set up the stand. But it was very simple, you just slide the one thing onto the other, and you're good to go. Also, they sent me some free merch. We got the hat. I think I'm gonna leave the sticker on, though. Is it still cool to leave the sticker on? And they also sent me this t-shirt. Very epic. I also chose the California cut drums as opposed to the classic cut drums. On the California cut, the shells are a little bit shorter. And that works for me because I'm just using these drums to record videos and do solo playing, and I also need to save all the space I can in my vehicle, okay? I got no space in there. Though if I was ordering a full set of tenors for a drum corps or a large marching band, I would definitely go with the classic cut to get that extra tone in there. If you want to know more about that, I will leave the link to the Mapex Marching Tenors product overview video in the description. Yeah, I'm totally just screwing around here, okay? Everyone should know that you need to tune your drums as soon as you get them, okay? That was just playing them right out the box. It is a very common thing to put on brand new heads as soon as you open a new set of drums. However, these drums have Remo pinstripe heads on them already. And those are the heads that I would change them to anyways. So, I'm gonna do what no man has ever done before. I'm just gonna leave the stock heads on these drums and tune them up, and they're gonna sound fantastic. Just watch. Okay, we're still a little bit on the low side of the tuning, and that is because the heads are brand new and have not settled yet. So I'm going to tune them up throughout this video so that by the ending drum battle, they will be up where I want them. Also, I didn't tune these to like any specific notes, I just kind of tuned them to what I think sounds pretty good. If anyone with perfect pitch wants to let me know what notes those are, please compose that in the comments. I am very interested.
count that. That's two. So that's right about where I want them, cranked up nice and high. Someone with perfect pitch can pose a comment and let me know what I like. Okay, we're about to get on with this final drum battle, but first, we're gonna do some weigh-ins on the scale over here. We got 34.3. And just for a comparison, these are the Yamaha drums that we use at the Commandant Zone. Let's see how heavy these are. Oh, very interesting. They're about a pound lighter. I've weighed other sets of tenors in different videos on this channel, and here is the collective set of data as of now. I also weighed the rest of the Yamaha drums just for the heck of it, and here's the results of that. Proving that tenors are really, really heavy. If you didn't already know that. But okay, now it is finally time for the epic drum battle. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully you found it epic and amazing. I'm sure you did. Be sure to check out all of the fine products from Apex. I'll leave the link to the website in the description. And also make sure that you click that subscribe button, ring that liberty bell, and click that like button. And also consider buying a custom t-shirt such as this one. I will leave that link in the description. And have a good morning. We got young Skeeter about to mount the bar. He's about to show me up so hard. <laughs> Damn, he already beat me. Oh my god, now you're just showing off. <laughs> I think I got one more. Is that 10? Yeah. Oh yes.